Hi everyone, I'm Ivan from Webwash and in today's video, I will show you how to use the Smart Trimmed module. So what does the module actually do? Well, it offers a formatter called Smart Trimmed, which allows you to trim text from any type of text field. Think of it as a smarter version of the summary or trimmed formatter, which is only available on the body field because the body field is a text formatted long with summary field type. But Smart Trim can be used on any type of text field. And if you want to learn more about the module, just head over to drupal.org slash project slash smart underscore trim. But to start things off, let's go ahead and download the module. So what I'll do is I will jump into my terminal and I will download it using Composer, of course. And because I'm using Lando um, for my local site, I'll just type in Lando, then Composer require Drupal slash smart trim. Of course, if you aren't using Lando, just type in Composer require Drupal underscore, not Drupal slash smart underscore trim and then just give that a second or two. Okay, now that the module has been downloaded, let's jump back into our browser. And what I've got here is I have a stock standard Drupal 9 site, well nine as of this recording. And the only thing that I've done is I have created an article and I have promoted it to the front page and that's it. And you can see this random article with some dummy text right here. So let's go ahead and click on extend so we can install the module and I'll search for smart and here you go, you can see smart trim and I'll just go ahead and install it. Now that the module's installed, let's go to structure and then content types and click on manage display on the article row. And let me open up the home page in a new tab. And because we want to modify this version of the article, we need to jump to the teaser view mode. And what I'll do is here, you can see the default summary or trimmed formatter. And then if you click on the format dropdown, you'll see a new formatter called smart trimmed. Just click on it and then click on the cog wheel and you can see all of these available options. Now, just to show you, Let's change it to summary or trimmed. And the only thing you can change is the trimmed limit and that's it. But if we go to smart trimmed, you can see all of the available options. So let's start off from the top. From trim length, you can put in the length that you want to trim, but most importantly, you can select the trim units. So this will trim the body field to 600 characters. But what if you want to trim it to say 100 words? And then if you go down, you can put a suffix and then you can even put in a wrap trimmed content. So let's just do that now. So let's just, um, let me just double check what I've clicked. So trim length, 100 words, and it will wrap content with the trimmed class. Let's see if this actually works. And so let's save that. And if I refresh here, you can see a little more content. Let's actually, let, let's actually drop the trim amount because it's hard to see that. Let's drop it down to say 20, just so that we can see that it's actually working. Let's drop it down to 20 and let's hit save. And then if we come here and refresh, okay, straight away you can see that, yes, this is 20 words, trust me. I'm not going to sit there and count a hundred words. And if we inspect, there should be a trimmed. Here you go. There is a class right here called trimmed. So if you want to wrap the trim text with a custom class for styling purposes, well, you can use smart trim for that. Now let's check out some other options here. Sorry, let me close that. Let's go back here. Another thing you can do is add in a display more link and you can specify the text and you can also specify the link class. So this, so the CSS class that gets added, well, the element class. Well, let's put in read 
more. Well, actually, we won't do that because there is already a read more. I want to make it make it obvious that it is this one. So let's put in smart read more and then click on save. And then you can straight away see that, yes, we have this smart read more. Of course, you have this uh, default read more uh, link, which you should be able to remove because I believe it is this link. So if we just disable that field and then go back, you can see that now the read more and also the comment link is gone. And then if we go back here, we come down here and this is where things get um, pretty tricky, but also the formatter offers some awesome functionality. Because the body field has a summary field on it. And what I mean by that is let's just open up another tab. And if we go to the uh, random article, you can see this edit summary field. Now, this is a special field type. It is called text formatted long with summary. And what we can do here is the module gives us extra functionality around the summary field, something that the default, what's it called? Summary or trimmed formatter does not. So from this dropdown, you can see these three options. Use summary if present, do not trim. Use summary if present, honor trim settings. So you can configure Smart Trim to trim the summary field, which you can't do from the summary or trimmed formatter. Now, I have a feeling I'll be saying the word trimmed a lot in this video, so apologies for that. And then of course, you can set it to do not use uh, summary at all. Whereas the default formatter, I believe will use the summary by default if a summary is provided. Because I have had situations in the past where editors have put in 500 words in the summary field. It has happened to me. So Smart Trim does allow for some pretty cool functionality around the summary field. And then of course you have strip HTML. This is pretty self-explanatory. This simply strips HTML. That's pretty much the best way to explain it. <laughs> okay, so if we were to, let's go here and let's um, we'll remove that. And I will make this italics and I'll make this one bold and Let's actually uncheck it to make sure it is working. And where is it? Homepage, right here. All right, let me just clean up these tabs. Okay, so here you can see it is bold and this word is in italics. And then if we come back here and then um, click on strip HTML, and then refresh, you can see now there's no HTML returned. Of course, it's still probably wrapped with a, well, it's not even wrapped with a P tag, with a paragraph tag, okay. All of the HTML is stripped out. And then of course you have the smart, oh, sorry, the smart read more, which is the read more link. So that is a quick overview of the smart trim module. As you can see, it offers way more flexibility than the standard summary or trimmed. And I actually use it on a lot of my websites. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed what you've seen, head over to wearbosch.net where you can learn more about Drupal. Anyway, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.